and welcome to another yoga studio. I am Kat, if you haven't joined in with any of our videos before, and it's lovely to have everyone on the mat or your space with me today as we have a little chat about resistance bands. So we use resistance bands sometimes in our Pilates classes. And it's one of those things of when I say about using them, people go, oh, you know, I've you know, bring your band next week and it's like, oh yeah, you know, I've got one and I never think about using it at home. So I'm sure it's not just my class people who are thinking that. So I was like, right, okay, we will just kind of have a little look about how we can bring them out of the cupboards, the garage, use them and how you can get kind of creative in and find ways of using them without necessarily having to kind of go to a gym or a class and have it all explained to you. So there's some different types of bands. Uh, ones that seem to be quite popular at the moment are the ones that are calm. These are quite thin. A lot of the <coughs> ones that are, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a little tickle in my throat. <coughs> <coughs> so some of the ones that are quite popular at the moment are the ones that come in a loop. And um, so there, you know, you'll see people kind of putting them around the legs and, you know, you can work strength stuff and with them there. But the ones I want to focus on for today are the TheraBand type ones, the long ones. And they're actually, they can be quite versatile. We can tie them into a loop to kind of recreate um, the workouts that you can do with the looped bands. And because of their length, we can, you know, you can have, some, you know, if you've got, if you've got more than one of different strengths, it's great because then you can pick and choose the band to suit the exercise that you're doing in the same, you know, if you're going to a gym and you are picking up some weights or using a weight machine, you would, you know, you wouldn't use the same weight, for, you probably wouldn't use the same amount of weight that you're doing with your legs as you would with your arms. Your arms would want something a little bit lighter. So we can do exactly the same if we've got a range of bands but if we haven't got a range of bands then we can also mix and match how strong we work the bands so i've got three different ones here this one is super light really easy and stretchy this one starts to build it up and make it a little bit harder and then this is my super strong one which i use sometimes you know again this is probably what i would want to use if i was doing some leg work but my middle one is probably my most versatile one because this is the one I can mix and match and um, create the resistance I want for most of the work I can do, I want to do. So to start with, if you've got a long band and you want to work it a little bit harder and you've got enough length there, you can double it over. And immediately that gives you double the amount of resistance. The other thing we can do if I just stand on it for an example, if I'm holding it right at the ends, I've got plenty of space to move with it. So I'm going to have a lot less resistance because I'm having to, you know, I don't have to work as hard to pull those ends away from my feet. If I hold lower down and then try and pull up, I'm going to have to work a lot harder because I've got less space between my anchor point with my feet. So if you think that's how your band's gonna work, you've got a piece of elastic, you know, elastic in the middle that's nice and loose and you're working on taking one end away from the other to use the resistance. So what you wanna do is find something to anchor your band down. So I've just done one there where I was standing with it on my feet so my feet were my anchor point that I was stretching away from. I can do it standing and I can work my shoulders that way. Or I can actually, you know, you can add in a little bit of extra work. You can squat down, use the shoulders, stand back up, squat, work the arms, and then stand back up. And that's a nice way of kind of getting into your shoulders. So if you've got a band that you sort of bought out specially for it, we'll have a little go together. So your feet are in underneath your hips and you're going to bend your knees. You can do this without the bands as well because it kind of gives you an idea of how you want to move. So you're breathing out, you're squatting down. We're holding the squat. Breathe out 
pull the arms to the side. Now, it doesn't matter how far you come to the side, I can come there, or I can come all the way to the top. I'm going to get my muscles working, and then I can stand back up out of my squat. So I'm breathing out, coming down into my squat, stretching the arms up and out to the side, breathing in, releasing, and then releasing up from my squat. So I'm going to get my legs working. I've got all my body weight coming through my legs, and then I'm using my band to work my arms. So that's one way of getting uh, into your shoulders. You can also, you know, you can hold it. I could hold it with my hands, and then I can push away with my feet. So this is a bit like uh, the quad muscle machines that you see in the gyms where people sit and they push away and then they release. You're actually kind of mimicking the squat position. And you can also do that. You could do that lying down. So again, if you want to try this one, you can lie down, bend the knees, push the legs away, release back in. Breathe out, push, and release back in. So like I say, what you, if you've done an exercise with your shoulders and your arms, you might then want to create a different bit of resistance or use a different band for your legs and make it a little bit harder. So that's using our hands to hold the band and then our legs are creating are getting the work. Now the other thing that we can do is we can also tie our band to a bit of furniture. So I've got my handy little chair that has suddenly appeared and we can use the chair as our anchor point. Now obviously if you're using a chair or sometimes a, or a table or anything like that, make sure that your furniture is strong enough to take the resistance and then we can loop the band and knot it. So this is where we can then create one of those loop bands we were talking about earlier. And then I'm going to put it around my foot. If you've got trainers on, you can then push in through the trainers. And I'm going to extend my leg, which will get my quad muscles working. In this is sort of like a similar idea to the one where we were laying down and pushing the feet up. So you can breathe out, push away. And of course, if you this one for your quads, you'd need to be sitting. So have a little go at that one if you want. Maybe you can pause the video at any point if you're trying these out. The other one to kind of get through the back of the legs. Swap actually over. Now this tape, this chair isn't the best. I would actually a table leg or something a little bit stronger is probably best for this one. I'm going to have to hold the chair to make sure it doesn't move. I'm going to stand on the bottom of it, and if I come backwards that way and bend, I can get into the backs of my legs, and I can feel my quad muscles firing up. So if you work on moving your joints one way or another, so you're pushing away and pulling back in with the bands, you can, you, know, it's, you can look at your arms and think, right, which way do they move? It's quite a nice way to have a play and then you'll feel the muscles working. If you can't feel anything working and it's too easy, then we know you need to build up the resistance. And remember you can then try and fold the band over or just hold further down. The band creates less space. All right, now my chair has magically moved out the way. We're just going to try one more. So again, this is another seated one where you can sit on the floor. You're using your feet and then you can come into a bicep curl where we're going to pull up and lower down. So it's e it helps if you breathe out as you feel the work. Breathe in, let it go. 
and the other one is we can try a little row where we're pulling back and releasing and you can mix them up so you can do one and then the other and have a little routine where you're mixing them up that way all right okay so that's it's not a, com a um, complete list of all the exercises that you've got you know be creative find ways of using the bands that you've got hidden away in your cupboard somewhere and just think about the movements that you can do with your arms and with your legs and that'll give you some extra work strength work that you can bring in to the exercises that you're doing um, through your Pilates and yoga classes all right if you've got any questions leave them below hit the subscribe button or the and the like button now and I will see you soon for another video okay take care now bye